And, and today we're going to talk about um, a lot, but more importantly, we're going to be talking about exactly what's going on with inner conflicts in your mind. So let's, let's get into it. Let me ask you, how many of you feel sometimes like um, there's a bit of a, you know, a democracy in your head where uh, no one's really happy. There's always compromise. Some of you might even say, you know what, there's a bit of a, an internal civil war going on where, you know, Sometimes you feel confident. Sometimes you feel doubt. Sometimes you, you know, you're going for things. Other times you just want to uh, sit on the beach and do nothing. Uh, this is a very interesting point, and it's true for most of us. However, there is there is times when we need to look at all of these part personalities and figure out who's really running the show. So I want you to imagine you is made up of a whole heap of different personalities. Is that okay? Type in a yes if that makes sense. You're made up of all these different uh, personalities and uh, you give weight to, to different types of the personalities. For example, there's your achiever, there's your striver, there's your protector, your controller, the confident version of you, the shy version of you, there's the healthy, the healthy personality, the unhealthy one. There's the rebel, the, the, the pleaser, the inner critic, the inner child. There's the teenager, the procrastinator, the spiritual part of you. There's the entrepreneur part of you. Do you guys get it? There's lots and lots of parts. There's a part of you that's anxious, a part of you in action. There's so many different parts of you. Different, uh, yeah, me too, Peter. There's so many personalities, right? There's so many personalities. Now, where this can become a problem is if you have a competing personality or a personality in conflict. So for example, one, uh, it gets noisy in there. Yeah, right on. So one part of you wants to go out there and make sales and then there's another part of you that never wants to be rejected. Who gets it? That's gonna create, create noise. That's gonna create conflict. The, both of those outcomes won't be able to, to be had and you find yourself just oscillating, trying to, you know, please both parts, you know, or the, the, the person, the, the pleaser that doesn't want to annoy anyone. But then on, on the other side, there's another personality that wants to go out there and be big and be bold and share a message. Uh, can you can you see how these can can get in the way? So today we're going to be looking at these and we're going to be doing a beautiful process to, to bring everything together in inner alignment so you can just take action. So. I hope that that's really exciting. So let's get right into it if it's uh, if it's all okay with you guys. I'd like you to write in what is it that you would really love to create? What would you choose to create? Type in a true goal. Can be a big goal, can be a small goal, can be a feeling, can be money, whatever it is. How do you want to answer this question? What do you really want? What do you really want to create? Type it in. What is it that you're choosing to create? <laughs> Sarah says inner alignment. Well, inner alignment isn't something that you'd normally sit down there on your on your uh, your total vision board or, or what it is you want in your life, but it could be. <laughs> it could be. I'm totally fine with it with it being that. But uh, I prefer, I think, a true goal that maybe you you know you'd come to before this. But if that's true for you, then that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, money and stability. Yeah, nice. So I would definitely say that money's a true goal. Money's something you're going for, but stability seems like it's trying to go away from something else, um, which is totally fine, but it could be. I just want stable. Remember, whenever you're choosing a true goal, it's just because you'd love to see it happen. It isn't there to solve a problem. You'll always find yourself in a challenging situation if you create a goal that's there to design a problem. Well, you know, I'm just... Just giving you some insight, you could just focus on the money, a specific amount of money, uh, but just choose something that's there because you'd love it, not because there's any problem. So I don't know the exact circumstances. Uh, hey, Luke, saw you just jumped on. Uh, good timing. So we're only on the first step. What is it that you, you choose? Yeah, nice. Automated sales system, 10 one-to-one -one clients, a successful business, successful business, inner line. Awesome. So I'm seeing a few of you typing in. So thanks for making this fun for me. I'm sure the rest of you just wrote it down. Uh, financial confidence, 50K per month consistently. All right, cool. So let's just pick one of those apps. Just pick one. So the second question I have is, assuming you had that now, how would you feel? Assuming you had that now, how would you feel? And just type that in. You'd feel success. I love it, Kate. Love it. Confident. Yeah. Content. Sorry. 
Yeah, I like it, Ebs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Free, nice, fulfilled, good, good, safe. Okay, cool. Safe to me always feels like one of those ones that it feels unsafe, so you're going for it. Super duper happy. Right, so we don't want the no anxiety. We just want the, what the one you're going for. Whenever you do a, a no of something, your brain doesn't know what you want it to get. So it goes in a trans derogational search trying to go, well, what do you want me to do? So no anger. Well, no anger can be, can be frustrated. No anger can be confident. No anger can be happy. No anger can be sad. So if we try to give the brain like a, a command and say no anger, it doesn't know where to go, right? I love it. Grateful, fulfilled, and amazing, creative, powerful, centered, ease, awesome, content, confident, in control. Good, good feelings. Awesome. So what do we want? How do we feel? So second thing, let's create that structural tension, the other side of manifestation. So compared to that, where are you now? Right? Always got to look at where are you now without judgment, without feeling like it's bad. Where are you now? So you want to have all the money. Where are you now? You want to have 10 clients. What have you got now? You'd like to have a successful business. What have you got now? And so just, just have a look at that. Right, cool. Feeling overwhelmed, feeling anxious. Okay, <laughs> that's that's a little bit critical, but it's true. If it's true, it's true. That's where I'm at now. Cool. So type in, if you like, where you're at now and how does it feel? Excited and overwhelmed? Nice. Nice. Unclear. Fair. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hmm, when I read that one, Ellie. <laughs> what was the other side of it? I'm scrolling. Got it. Finding my way, I like it. Just frustration with things. Yeah, cool. We must always, we must always look at where we're at now because that allows us to know that tension seeks resolution. Tension turns into momentum. A lot of times people don't, uh, they have a problem with one of the two parts of creation. A lot of times they never look at where they're going. They, they, they stop dreaming, right? They never get clear on what they want or uh, people never look at where they are now. They never actually own, oh, should I actually haven't made a sale in two weeks or a month or two months. They're never actually owning where they're now. They're too busy just out here. So I always find that people normally have one of the two, um, <laughs> right on, Ellie. It's not until we really just own, oh, you've got to have the two, okay? You've got to have the two. So um, you should have on your piece of paper or you typed it in, this is what I want and how would I feel and this is where I am now. So I want to talk about how the different parts relate to, to this predicament and then we're going to do a process. So the first one, the first personality how does the protector controller relate to I'm here and I want to be here? What's the protector controller? Now, for some of you, the protector controller is like, this is awesome. I'm keeping us safe and small over here. So I want to ask you to put your hat on of the protector, the controller part of you that wants to stay safe and ask, how does the protector controller relate to this situation where you're here and you want to be here? Have a think about that. Maybe type it on in. How does the protector controller feel? What does the protector controller think about this situation? Ha, I can hide here. Yeah, the protector controller says, great, I can hide here. It's safe. Good start. How does the, you have a better than ever seller. So why do you want to put that in, in jeopardy? I like it, Abs. Why would you go for more? This is good enough. I like it. Contracts when challenged. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, it's actually two parts of you. The protector control will be the one that holds you back. The bipolar one will be the next one we're going to talk about. Uh, but I'll get there in a sec. <laughs> So, so how does the protector controller relate to this? How does it want to stay safe? Saying you may have taken on more than you can manage. Yeah, right on, Kate. It's coming. The other part's coming. All right, well, let me let, let you guys off the hook. How does the achiever or the striver relate to this? How does the achiever striver relate to this?
So first question was, how does the protector controller relate to this situation? How does the achiever or the striving part of you relate to this? Nice. Excited growth impact dream. You can do this. Keep going. Nice. Bye, Canelli. You must automate as much as possible. You can do this. I got this successful life-changing freedom. So, so it's true. If you look at everyone that's typing in, and if you if you want everyone else to see, just tick where it says all panelists, and you can go all panelists and attendees. Uh, it's the part that tells me never give up. So can you see this bipolarness that we have inside of us, right? We have a protector controller part of us, and then we have on the other side this achiever, this striver. Um, part of us right and that that would you guys agree that they're pretty much in conflict right who agrees type in yes if you agree they're in conflict like this one wants protection safe stay small this one wants to go for it everything else so let's keep talking about this because it's fun <laughs> isn't it <laughs> how does your inner child relate to this how does your inner child relate to this that's a good question. How does your inner child, your part personality, your inner child, how does your inner child relate to, I'm here and I wanna be here? Excited, she's loving it, nice, nice. How does your inner child relate to this? What emotions is present for him or her in this? Absolutely loving it. See, it's always, it's always there jumping in down. Nice. Make it fun. Make it uncomplicated. Be excited. Look how much positivity comes when we talk about that. How does your pleaser or perfectionist relate to this? Yeah, right on, Peter. Good for you. How does how does your pleaser or perfectionist relate to this? I'm here and I want to be here. How does that part of you relate? Hmm. See, by asking these questions and thinking about ourselves with, with different part personalities, here, here's what we find, right? Uh, here's what we find is that each personality has got its own goals, has got its own traumas, some of its own worries, some of its own concerns. Uh, yeah, I tell it to stop judging me, which is you talking to you. See, some of us have tried to completely shut off parts of us. And this is when we, we let some parts of our personality talk more and some not would you guys agree and i'll tell you what what happened to me is for the longest time i shut off the fun loving partier just the guy that's just just loving life i shut him off and i shut him off and i said you know what you're not needed man we're a business person now dreadlock guy you can go you're not needed at all and so i just got focused and that was all i did but as I, as I realized and became successful without that, I realized how much I missed some parts of it. You see, you know what I didn't miss? I didn't miss the alcohol, the late nights, the drugs, everything else. I didn't miss that. But there are parts of that personality that I, that I did miss. And so what happens is we create this bias. We create a bias towards some parts of us because other parts or other personalities have caused us pain. Does that make sense? I got a lot of pain from the rebel. I got a lot of pain from the partier in me. I got a lot of pain from the procrastinator. So I didn't let those exist. The truth is, though, the procrastinator, I kind of like that guy sometimes. The party is cool to come out sometimes. There's things to learn from the achiever. There's things to learn from the, there's things to learn. And so what happens is, who else is hearing me loud and clear? I got it. Someone, Melissa typed in, I'm hearing you loud and clear. Who else is hearing this? Is 
we need to find a way to let everyone have their say a bit more so we can have much more joy in life. Because a lot of times what I see is we're denying the present moment. We're denying experiencing now, but we're also, we're also denying parts of ourselves. Who would agree with that? That we're denying parts of us. And so because we're denying parts of us, it doesn't go away. It doesn't feel heard. And we're, we're literally like, I'm talking about like, it's not you, right? Because we literally cut it off. We say none of that. But because it doesn't get a say at all, it always sits in the background trying to go, no, we should go do this. We should go do this. It's like that child that, you know, wants to, wanted to go this way, but the whole family all wanted to go this way. And it's just upset because they didn't, uh, <laughs> yeah, right on, Peter, because they didn't get their say. And so there's a truth to all of this. There's a truth to all of this. And here's the question. What do all the personalities really want? What do all the personalities really want? Ab says alignment, the best for me, to be loved. What do all the personalities really want? To be heard. Yeah, that's true. To live together in harmony. To achieve full potential. Yeah, I would, I would say that all parts overall want to have the most satisfaction in life for you. There are all parts of you that want to have the most satisfaction for you. The safety part of you is trying to make sure you don't get hurt. The risk taker is trying to have a bit of fun. The entrepreneur is trying to make an impact. But the truth is, if you bring it all back, they all want to have the most satisfying life for you. Ali says, all parts of me want to win. Who agrees with that? And so if they all just got together and said, hey, you know what? We've all actually got the same goal. We've all actually got the same goal. Like uh, our whole goal is to make this main personality have the best life. So why don't we stop arguing? Why don't we get together? And why don't we all just take an action plan towards total satisfaction? Who agrees that that would make a lot more sense? So what we need to do is a process to stop the inner fighting, stop the squabbling and get everyone on the same page moving towards just one goal. Who agrees with that? Cool. So we're going to do a fun process and uh, it's going to be, it's going to be closed eye process. So it's going to be cool. So you need to get yourself ready. So make sure, you know, you've got good Wi-Fi sitting down, tell someone who's around your house not to bother you for, for 15, 20 minutes, you know, tell the kids to turn on, to, to go and, and do their thing for a bit or whatever it is you need to do so that I can have you for 20 minutes, closed eyes here with me as we, we go through this, this process. Um, and then give me a big yes when you're ready to go and we'll dive right into this. Let's go. Nice. All right, cool. Looks like everyone's pretty ready. So go ahead and just close your eyes and just take a couple big breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth and just relax. And allow yourself to relax and actively just choose to relax. That's it. And start to relax from the top of your head all the way down. Just choosing with each breath, just be nice and relaxed. That's it. Just feel the seat sort of holding you up and relax everything down into that seat with every breath from the top of your head, relaxing your eyes and your cheeks and your nose, relaxing your neck and your shoulders. And just keep breathing in through your nose, nice big deep breath out through your mouth. 
and just relax. And as you relax, just choose to get the most out of this exercise. Just in your mind, just choose that you're going to get what you need out of it. And as you make that choice, as you make that choice, just want you to find yourself sitting in a beautiful, beautiful, comfy couch or sofa, like your favorite seat and your favorite place with no distractions, feeling so, so, so safe and comfortable. What you'll see in front of you are chairs. There are empty seats and empty chairs in front of you, maybe two or maybe three. And as you sit there just relaxing, think about this goal for a second. Think about this goal that you're wanting to create and then think about where, where you are now. And so first I wanna bring out the protector controller. So could you have the protector controller part of you sit on one of the seats in front of you? That's it. And just notice how old you are and when you're the protector controller or is it somebody else? Is it maybe a sound or do you see nothing at all? Just have the protector, the controller in front of you. And just sit there and as you make an I-beam connection with the protector controller, just ask it, what's your main purpose? What's your main goal in life? And allow the answer to come back from the protector controller. What is it that you really desire? What's your purpose? And as you sit there interviewing the protector controller, I just want you to take note of everything they say. What is it you really desire? What is your purpose, protector controller? And let them have their say. And then ask them one last question. What is it you truly want? And allow that information to be passed from the protector controller to you. And now let's bring out the next personality. Let's bring out the achiever, the striver, and let's bring them out. Which seat do they want to sit on in front of you? And just notice how close they want to get to the protector controller whether they want to be friends or whether they want to move their seats apart. And wherever they want to sit, just have them sit there now. Notice their attitude. Notice what they look like. What age are they? Is it even you or is it someone else? Have them sit there facing you. And as you're sitting in this nice couch, turn to the achiever, the striver, and ask them, what's your purpose? What's your biggest desire? And allow them to respond, having that information come across time and space to you. Look right at that achiever, the striver, and ask them, what do you really desire? What's your true goal? And what's the purpose of that? Allow them to have their say. Notice any similarities between, between the protector control and the achiever striver when you ask the last question. Ask the Achiever, the striver, what is it that you truly want? And notice what they say.
if the two part personalities start noticing that they want the same thing, you might notice that they start moving closer together or realizing they're on the same team. And, and if that's starting to happen, maybe just let them know you guys are on the same team here. What is it you truly want? And now let's bring in the inner child. Let's bring in the inner child and bring that inner child in and have them sit on another seat in front of you. Notice where the inner child wants to sit. Notice how old you are and who it is it might not even be you. You might not even see anything at all. Just choose to have the inner child appear in front of you and choose to have your inner child there and ask, what is your purpose? Ask the inner child, what do you really want? What is your true purpose? What is it that you desire? And allow the inner child to have its say. Noticing they really all want the same thing. Look right at the inner child and ask, what is it that you truly want? And receive the answer. And now I want you one by one to start bringing in the other parts of your personality. Maybe there's the confident one. Maybe there's the shy one, maybe a stressed one, a relaxed one. Have them all come in, grab a seat, and start filling up in front of you. There's the wounded part of you. There's the confident part of you. There's the entrepreneur, the organizer, the teenager, the spiritual part of you. Allow them all to come in front of you. Maybe even the pleaser, an inner critic, maybe a perfectionist, the healthy part of you, the unhealthy part of you, and allow it to form nearly like a grandstand or a really full seminar room of part personalities. And imagine you ask the question to, to certain personalities, what are you here for? What is it that you truly desire? Allow yourself to ask the question to certain personalities, to certain parts. And notice what comes back when you ask the question, what is it that you truly want? And you're starting to feel something change or something shift. I want you to leave your main personality on the couch. And I want you to float into certain personalities that are sitting in front of you. And just notice what it's like to be them. Notice what it's like to be the inner critic and what they really want. Notice what it's like to be the lover and what they really want. Notice what it's like to be the perfectionist. Notice what it's like to be the protector controller. Ask yourself, what do I really want when I'm this personality? You'll notice that they're all starting to group together as you go into the achiever striver, the entrepreneur, the confident version of you and gather all the information you can by going around and experiencing the viewpoint of different parts of you. What is it that they truly want?
And just take a moment to make sure you've gathered all the information. And when you have, just return your energy back to the main personality sitting on the couch at the front. Whether you feel like you've got it all or not, now it's time to return to the main personality. Now that you're there, imagine yourself standing up and addressing this crowd. Standing up and addressing this crowd. And I want you to look at all of these personalities. And I want you to address them and say, I am the main personality. All of you have come together to serve one purpose. And that is to increase satisfaction for me. I am you, you are me. The problem is, is in by you, each of you trying to create your own satisfaction, you're actually causing me dis dissatisfaction because of your fighting. And I'm going to request that you all get along. I know that there's been pain or trauma in the past. And we're going to let that go, but we're going to keep all the learnings so that we can come together in the main personality. Please let me know now if there's any objections to letting go of the emotion and coming together into the main personality without the fighting. You will not die. In fact, you'll finally get to your say without the emotion needing to be there. And I want you to ask this group and notice if there's any hands that go up that don't want to join in on serving your highest purpose. And so if they do, I want you to ask them, If I was able to take all of your learning, but let go of the emotion, would you join in on the team to increase satisfaction instead of causing this inner conflict? Would you be able to do that? And notice that they nod in agreement. So you're gonna ask the whole group, please, Bring in to the active experience in the perfect order anything that causes you pain with merging to the main personality. And we're going to ask the superconscious to do a massive change history and to treat any pain in the perfect order and decide to let it go. We're going to decide to let it go. And please go back to any original events and allow yourself, allow your superconscious to treat any pain in the perfect way and in the perfect order to increase satisfaction and choose to get more satisfaction in life by working together. That's it. And so imagine that all of the personalities start coming together and closer together like a team as they realize they all want the same thing and they're much better off exchanging information together to get the most out of life and to increase satisfaction for the main personality, which was their goal. As they notice that the internal fighting or conflict actually takes away from their main goal. They come closer and closer together. And just imagine one by one, they all start merging into just one. And as they merge into one, I want you to allow them all to come together into one 
and then merge them right into your heart, into your chest. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and allow all parts of you to have their say. And as you sit on that couch, you'll feel that energy for the first time honoring all parts of you and choosing to let go of anything that stopped you having it all and having the most satisfaction in life. Now that you've made that choice, I want you to imagine yourself walking back into your life with total inner alignment, with everyone moving towards one goal, every part of you wanting one thing. Feel that momentum. Walk through your past into the present and right back into this moment, into your seat. And when you're here, you can open your eyes and come back to now. And let me know how that was. How'd everyone go? Hello, Ali. Hello, full Ali. So good? Good. Powerful? Good, Teresa. Good. I want to hear from everyone. So at least type in a yes. You ended that struggle, good. That was like a clear out. Thanks, Abs. I think so. So healing. Awesome, Natasha. Beautiful. What did you realize? What did you learn? How was that? Yeah. They were fighting. They were fighting. And it's a, it's a good thing to get everyone on the same page because you all want the same thing. I like it. It's good feedback from you. Yeah. Every character has a role to play in one success. Yes. Yes. True. See, we can waste a lot of energy having internal conflicts until we just realize everyone wants the same thing. Who agrees with that? A few of them reluctant to come together, but then they did. Fireworks, positivity, and power. I love it, Ed. Very good, Chris. My lead legion now marches together to simply express my purpose. I love that. I love that. Who hasn't typed in yet? How are you going, Mel? Oh, there she is. Amazing getting to know yourself, truly knowing who you are. Peace. Awesome. Sarah, Stephen, at least give me a thumbs up or a yes so I know you're still here. Claire? I had my achiever and protector shake hands. Good. Thinking, that's okay. Well, I'm just glad you're awake, Sarah. I, I get to tease you about that forever now. <laughs> Stephen, Claire, anyone else who hasn't typed in? Kevin, feel lighter, easier, awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're going to finish up by choosing that end result. So if you remember that first end result, um, it feels amazing coming back to reality as one. Right on, Melissa. True that. It was good. Do you like some of the uh, creativity, Kevin? All right. So let's go into this and let's choose what it is we want to create. Okay. So go ahead and just close your eyes. In your mind, just choose what it is you decided to create. Whether it was more money, better relationships, successful business, and just do it by saying, I choose to have, I choose to be, I choose this and just choose it in your mind. And as soon as you choose that that's you, notice, how does it feel now that that's a reality? 
How does it feel if that was truly here right now? Really, like what would it be like to have that? Allow yourself to feel it. What would it be like? How good would it be? Breathe it in. What else would be really good or amazing about this? And how would that feel? Really teach your body what it's like that this is true. What's life going to be like now you have this result? And how does that feel? How good is it? Really go into the feeling. Allow yourself to fully step into having that result now. Now that you're fully in it, I want you to ask yourself, what is the obvious next action that I must take to move from where I am to this? What is the obvious next action I must take? And as soon as you've got it, open your eyes and write it down.